Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Fresh Air Outdoors. We're going trout fishing today, so uh, uh, we're about to go head out to a pond. Uh, I know what you're thinking, trout fishing, I live in North Texas, so where am I going to go trout fishing? Well, uh, there's a pond in Denton, Texas that uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife actually stocks with rainbow trout, so that's what we're going to be fishing for today. Uh, I'll show you the rigs, some of the rigs that, oh this is basically the rig, it's just a Carolina rig, I got a little weight on here. And then I got a little tiny hook, and I'm gonna put some like some trout bait, some sort of power bait or something on that hook. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna focus, but so yeah, that's what we'll, we'll do. And then of course I'm bringing I'm bringing some bass stuff here. I'm bringing a, I'm gonna bring a little Texas rig worm, and in case on the off chance one of us bags out, or or we just suck at trout fishing, I'll I'll go do some. I'm bringing this, and I'm bringing a little spinner bait, and. Um, bringing a bringing a jerk bait and you know a couple other things but mainly we're going to try and focus on catching some trout so that's what we're doing today uh i'm excited let's go get some fresh air Got some trout nuggets and then some whole kernel corn. Which which do you want? Which you want to try first? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go for with the trout nuggets. Okay, I think the corn, corn was your idea, so you should give the corn a try. Uh, I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna get a couple warm up throws with the Texas rig here, though. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think so. Fishing with a little little trout nugget, a little tiny hook. I haven't caught anything yet though. I don't by the way guys, I don't know how to trout fish, so you got it way out there? Cool. Wait, which way is your oh, okay? Alright. Okay, yeah, mine's pretty far out there too now. Really? Oh shit! Get him! Hey, that was my rod. Let me reel him in. Get him! Plans of fighting. Nice and easy now, though. I got him. I got him. I got him. Come on, baby. Come here. Can you come tighten up my dress? Can you come tight? What the heck? Yeah. I was wondering. Why it was so difficult to reel in. Nice one. That's a really nice catfish, dude. Holy crap. Oh, that's right. You do them like this. Is that, is that dinner? That's dinner, dude. Definitely yeah, the catfish is not that big today. I can't believe I caught this with my drag, like super loose, on a tiny little hook. Check that out, guys. All right. Well, it's not what we're after, but it definitely is something. That's a good, it's a good looking fish. Uh, we're definitely gonna be keeping this guy. You can do a little dance, do a little dance. This, this thing is, what? Quit playing, with your quit playing with my food. Okay, Shane says quit playing with the food. So we're switching up, we're switching up tactics. The fact that we just caught a catfish means we're sitting on the bottom. So we're thinking. Big pull up as a catfish pull. Like one of those okay. style rigs. Yeah. Corn. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if we can get another one. Alright, well, uh, we got skunked on the trout, of course. Of course we did. Uh, but we got a catfish, so I think we're going to go home and fry it up. So uh, come and join us for this accidental catch and cook. All right, everybody, uh, went ahead and cut the fillets off the catfish. As you can see, I'm gonna bone some of it out. There's some rib bones up in here that I'm gonna wanna get out. So I'm gonna cut those up and then batter them up and then we're gonna cook them over fire. 
All right, everybody, so as you can see, I've got my fillets all boned out. Now what I have here is, this is, uh, I'm not gonna give you my full recipe because it's a secret and it's awesome, uh, but a dumbed down recipe is milk and egg stirred up, and then in, in here I got uh, flour, salt, and some other seasonings. You can season it however you like. Uh, try and beat mine, but you can't because mine's awesome. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna take each fillet and just kind of dunk it in the egg get it nice and coated in that egg and then right in the bag. And we'll do the same thing with the other one. Just dunk it in the egg and then right in the bag and then shake and bake. Well, not bake, we're gonna fry it, but just uh, here, it's kind of easier if you close this up. Oh, my hands are all eggy. And just shake them up. Get them all nice and coated with that, that batter all that flour and the salt, and then after that, they're ready to go. I think we're gonna go get a pan on the fire and get some oil in the pan and we're ready to fry. Skin. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Failed no. cooking skills. That's not good. That's not good, folks. Winston burned the fish. No, I didn't. It's fine. So, let me explain myself, everybody. I haven't cooked over a fire in, a, in, in quite a while. Uh, I underestimated how much hotter it is when you cook over an open flame. Oh, God. I'm so that's where we went wrong there. Uh, it's going to be a little blackened on the outside, but, uh, I don't know. I think it's probably still going to be kind of good. I didn't order mine blackened. I didn't either, dude. All right. I don't know. I guess I'll just go right in. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. First of all, it's hot. Yeah? Is it tasty? Too much salt, but other than that... Doesn't taste burnt. Yeah, I was right. It was the skin that burned. Yeah. It's fish. Yeah. Definitely, bla one. definitely blackened. Caught one, ate one. Pretty All good right, stuff. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're going to enjoy some more of our lovely blackened catfish. Um, today didn't go quite as planned. Uh, actually, the whole thing was all just kind of a... Uh, you know, a mess, but sometimes that's how it goes when you're adventuring in the outdoors, so thank you guys so much for watching and tune in next time